Maxie James The Wannabe Cowboy Let me tell you a tale about a little flower sprite. His name was Maxie James. He just didn't feel right. He dreamed of being a real cowboy, riding high on the range. That would bring him joy. To ride through the wide open air, to whip through the prairie without a care. But you see, a sprite has a job to do, to open the flowers before the dew. It's a job handed down from father to son, and a cowboy would not get the job done. So he went to his mother to explain his dream. But she couldn't understand his strange little scheme. You're a sprite, my son, she said with a smile. You haven't thought this through. Put it off for a while. Then she clapped her hands and disappeared from his sight, leaving Maxie James still not feeling right. So he went to his father to explain his dream, but his father couldn't understand Maxie's passion extreme. You're a sprite, my son, he said with a frown. A cowboy? Do you want to look like a clown? Then he patted his son on the top of his head and told him to get ready for bed. So Maxie James went, off sadder than before. He climbed on a thicket branch and stared at the floor. Then suddenly there came a buzz and a roar It came straight at him. It came with a sore. Whatever it was, it just missed his head. So Maxie decided to follow the dread. He ran as fast as his little legs could go. But the buzzard got away from him, don't you know? Suddenly, Maxie saw something strange as he flew. A large horsefly stuck in cow poopy doo. Maxie James landed beside the giant plop. He stepped up to the mound. He jumped with a hop. The poo was still warm and thick with steam, and he knew the poor fly was doomed if not freed. So Maxie helped the sinking horsefly He closed his mouth tight and made his best try. When the horsefly popped free, it flew through the air. Then it righted itself and flew off without a care. Maxie James was still holding tight to the beast. who was now flying off in search of its feast. Wait, shouted Maxie, as they soared through the trees. Stop, halt, end. Oh, please, whoa, cease. 
Then he grabbed a hold of the bug at its neck. He pulled it back. He pulled like heck. With that, the bug stopped dead in his tracks and looked at Maxie as Maxie climbed off his back. Good boy, said Maxie, patting the bug's head. That was great, but now I'm afraid I'm late for bed. Sadly, Maxie started back to his home, walking slowly all alone. The horsefly turned his eye and stared at Maxie James. Then he zipped through the air and with perfect aim, he scooped up the sprite and took him straight home. Then he dropped him in bed without even a groan. Maxie was quite happy as he fell to sleep. For the first time in his life, he felt complete. The next morning, the horsefly was at his front door. So the two flew off with a whip and a roar. Maxie's parents were not happy at the sight and decided to follow and set things right. Meanwhile, Maxie and his friend the horsefly had entered the prairie, sailed in from up high. They passed the cows who were all lined in a row. They zipped past the egrets, the goats and the crow. They were having such a great time that they never noticed the sprites watching from behind. The sprites watched as the two dipped in and out between the cows along their route. But what was so grand? What was so great? That made the sprites stop and make weight. Well, not even Maxie himself could say why, until he turned around and saw with his own eye, there in the field around every cow in the row, around the egrets, the goats, and even the crow, were the most wonderful flowers a sprite could create. That's what made the others stop and wait. Maxie James flew up to the group and smiled. He said, I was just riding my horse fly for a while. His father said, Maxie, I never knew that a sprite could be a cowboy too. So from that day on, Maxie rode his horse fly. He rode through fields, prairies, and over mountains high. And everywhere he went, he made quite a sight as he opened flowers like a good flower sprite. The End